welcome to Comfort Life channel. I am very happy to see you here today. And as always, I do hope that you are doing just great. So we keep talking about different ingredients in cosmetics, and today we shall take a closer look at the ingredient named glycerin. Also, it's named glycerol or glycerin with E in the end, and I do recommend you to check in the description all other possible names that this glycerin ingredient could be called in the ingredient list. Glycerin is a naturally occurring alcohol compound and is a compound of many lipids or fats. Glycerin may be of animal and vegetable origin and it also could be synthetically manufactured and because it could be of animal origin, you need to know that it could be derived from animals. I will need to inform you that glycerin is an absolutely safe substance to be used in cosmetic ingredients. It is also widely used in the hair care products and uh, you need to know that this ingredient is not toxic or it doesn't promote the development of any allergies or toxic diseases, so it is safe. Alright, so once we know that glycerin is something that is safe to use for your skin, we also need to know why actually most of the cosmetic uh, companies are using glycerin in their products. The most important thing to know about glycerin is that glycerin is a humectant. It means that it uh, it is it readily absorbs the moisture and like the water from the environment. What it does for your skin is that glycerin has the ability to attract water from the environment and from the lower layers of your skin, which is called dermis, and it brings this moisture towards the upper levels of your skin. It keeps your skin moisturized it increases the amount of water in the surface layers of your skin. So all this actually helps you to maintain the outer barrier and prevent your skin from dryness or scaling. Another important thing to know about glycerin is that this ingredient is skin identical because it was natural it is naturally you know occurring on your skin it is naturally it was naturally found in the skin. A very important fact for you to consider is that glycerin although could be bad for your skin. It could be bad when it is used pure and undiluted like 100% concentration. This way it might even cause blisters on your skin if, if you leave it on your skin for a long time. I'm saying this because you can basically like you know buy glycerin on the market. It really comes in the bottles like this and it's 100% glycerin. It is uh, advised here that it could help you with the dry damaged skin and help you with the hair, but the the huge drawback of all the humectants and you know we know glycerin is a humectant is because it has the great ability of uh, attracting water from the um, lower la layers of your skin, as we spoke earlier, which is the dermis. It brings it on the surface of your skin to the epidermis. And on the surface of your skin, the dry, all this moisture could be really lost easily into the environment. So that's basically doesn't do any get good for the dry skin and it will, it will definitely not help you to keep your skin moisturized. For these particular reasons, when you're buying any product, cream or lotion, you have glycerin over there. First of all, in the lower concentration and second of all, it is always combined with other emollients or oils uh, like these ingredients help together with the glycerin help you to soften your skin. A combination of the ingredients including glycerin and uh, fatty acid, antioxidants and lecithin, they all help your skin to heal, they help you to reduce dermatitis and they even help you to restore a normal um, skin barrier function. And also the presence of glycerin in the intercellular layer of your skin helps the lipids to do their job better. So all in all, the down point is that glycerin in the cosmetic products and hair care products is good for you and you shouldn't be afraid to use it, although when you're using the glycerin in its pure form you should really be careful and you need to know that it has to be combined with the emollients or other oils. I do hope this information helps you, so we are done with the glycerin ingredient. We shall move to the next ones in the next videos, of course. Stay healthy and beautiful. Thank you for watching this video. Put the thumbs up if you like it, subscribe to my channel and I wish you all the best.